Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review another custom ROM for Rhythmy Note 8. And this ROM is actually a new custom ROM. And I haven't used this ROM in any of the previous phones I have owned. But this one is new ROM. It's called Bootlegger ROM. And it's based on Android 13. And this is Alpha build. And frankly said, this is a quite good ROM. But it has lags and issues. I will tell you about that. First of all, let's check our Android version. And then what about security patch level? So if we go here and do version 13, so as you can see, bootleggers from, and the security patch level is like January 18, 2020, this very uh, recent bit. I have flashed it maybe uh, four or five days ago. And so January 18 and the security patch level, they put it uh, January 5, 2023. And it comes with oh, Android 13, as you can see. So this is a GApps build, not like, um, uh, vanilla build so you will get android apps also but although it's in the uh, what it called android version setting you will see that it's testing gfs unsupported but it does support gf gfs comes with this rom so i will talk about cons first then i will go to the pros so first of all if i go to the cons so cons is first of all the ui so if we go to the ui so although it's a stock UI, there are some definitions with this stock UI. So first of all, if we go with the notification panel, so there are no individual option to select Wi-Fi and mobile data with this ROM. You can't do that. It is it is not available. So let me show you the that. So as you can see, it's not available. Maybe in future they will include or in the future build they will include. I saw that there is a new build of this ROM. Maybe I will install that and I will put a review on that too. So in this build. It has no uh, individual Wi-Fi and mobile data support. And if I go here, another thing, back, go. So in the in the like uh, launcher setting, so all of the phones come with the stock launcher if you are using your speed So if I go home setting, as you can see, there is no option available at all. Like you cannot hide your Google address bar or anything like that you cannot rotate your skin allow many things actually not here I don't know why they didn't put actually most of the ROMs um, like stock ROM comes with a very good uh, launcher I don't know why they didn't put those options here now another thing of cons is that if I go here like in like you know other stock ROMs if you double tap on the home screen it turn off the screen or if you double tap on uh, your notification panel it will turn off the screen but in this case it will not work here but although it doesn't work like turning off this screen but you can turn on with double tap so it is here so you have to rem uh, maybe it is not a big deal but it is not there another another option is that so there is no hotspot option here so if you go here like Wi-Fi setting and if you go hotspot so there is no uh, 5 GHz band option here. I don't know why they don't put the 5 GHz band option. Um, most of the ROMs does not put uh, the 5 GHz band, but I saw many ROMs that put 5 GHz band. It is not difficult to put. In uh, me, why also we get 5 GHz band, but in stock ROM, I don't know why they don't put. So it's also limitation. And another thing of this ROM is that there is no game mode or RAM extension features like other ROMs come with. In some of the stock ROM, it does come with like a uh, game mode where you can share your screen or you can stream your screen. But in, in this ROM, you will not get that. Even RAM, RAM expansion also not uh, included here. Although it doesn't bother me at, at all because I don't really use that. Another is thing that although you can see here, here they have like Xiaomi parts option, which is really good because we all know about the skin retention problem of this phone. It's included here, so there is no skin retention. That's good. But if you go to the bootlogger dumpster, it should be like it should have like features to change the icon and other things. But if you go there, you will not get anything actually. It's nothing on there. So you just you go to the status bar. It will just give you the clock and date setting, log screen, nothing there. Animation, nothing there. So it, basically, it has no features at all. It's mainly like. Uh, Google Pixel Experience ROM, not Pixel Plus UI, Pixel Experience ROM with a Xiaomi Parts option. 
So you have to be mindful about that too. Even you cannot change the battery icon and percentage. So I really like to put like battery circle battery icon and put the uh, battery percentage inside the icon. And in, if you have saw other videos of my custom ROM review, you will see that all, most of the time I use that setting even in all the all the phones. So it's not available here. That's actually very well. And other thing is that it comes with Dolby Atmos. So if you put here, and Dolby Atmos works very great here. I will, I will review that too. I will tell you about that. So if at now it's turn off. If I put it on turn on, although my volume and other things are down here, but it will, it will increase the sound and it's too much actually, because I use my phone as alarm clock too in the morning, and I did not actually turn off the Dolby Atmos, but my in my notification panel, I reduced. Uh, volume of the net, well, alarm clock uh, like in gear level, level but it does it didn't work actually it was too too loud so that's at for now as you can see it's very low level it should be a little bit so now let's uh, create alarm so it's on 13 so we will put like uh, 7 should be 13 now put it on 14 maybe okay so let's see if 14 how loud it is and after turning off how loud the, the sound will be. So keep it off just to wait a bit. So it's bothered me a lot because I was not ready for that in the morning. It was too loud. This is too loud. After, although sound was very low, still if you turn on the Dolby Atmos, the sound will be very loud. Now let's do it uh, without like turning off the Dolby Atmos. The sound will be in the viewable zone. Let's check, okay. Plus 7. Now we will put it on 15. Okay. Let's see now. So the, our, as you see, the, the sound of the volume in the volume. Uh, notification panel I reduce the sound like a just a bit I put a bit only but still the sound was too loud if you turn on the Dolby Atmos but now we were we will try without uh, Dolby Atmos so we turned off the Dolby Atmos let's see how loud it is it will be low because I know that I have tried it let's see it should be now so as you can see the sound is very low now it's in very loud uh, so if you use your phone as an alarm clock or reset alarm, so be mindful about that. Turn off the Dolby Atmos if you are using that. So these all are the cons of this ROM. Not much actually. And all of them actually quite ignorable. There is one more left actually. That is a fake notification. Fake notification on when you charge your phone. So when we charge our phone when you plug, it just shows some kind of like how milliampere it's pulling from the charger and what's going on at the phone so as you can see it's showing like 2000 ma 10 watt 5 volt it is not possible yet because my charging cable does not support that it just support uh only 1500 ma but also as you can see it's 27 percent now it should charge slowly actually it will work from like 400 500 600 then it will go up a bit a bit and a bit but in this case, as you can see, it does not working as it should. So if you check that notification, although it's not a, it doesn't make any sense, it's not a big deal, but still the problem is there. So now comes to the pros part and it has a lot of pros actually. First of all, audio. So as I said, Dolby Atmos, audio is really good. Although they put it from like, it does. It, this one does not support Dolby Atmos, but they put it from maybe, um, Motorola phone, but this works really good actually. As you, I have demo uh, demonstrated on my alarm clock, the sound is more fuller and louder, and it's really good. So definitely try this feature. Even it does work with the earphone also. Even I tried with it my uh, wireless earbud. It the, the the function does work, and it's really good. I I think all the ROMs should put like this feature. It's working amazingly good. Now comes to the battery part. So battery on this ROM, it's also good. So let me show you the, so as, as you can see, 
when I took this uh, screenshot, the battery was on 19%, and I charged this phone about 85%, and I got 4 hours 27 minutes of battery. So if I count like it uh, from that side, it will be like 15%, here with 20%, 35% is still left, and maybe I will get one and half hour more, or maybe two hours, so it will be like six and six and a half hours of battery backup, like screen on time you will get from this ROM, and it's quite good. So like other ROMs also you will get same, like see a droid or any other ROMs, but although this is a new ROM and it's not a like proper official ROM, but it's giving quite good battery backup. About six hours plus you will get a screen on time, even if you use mobile data and Wi-Fi. I always connected with mobile data and Wi-Fi. I haven't faced any kind of issue. Now, now come to the uh, security. So we have fingerprint option and fingerprint does work really well. So if I put, as you see, it's very fast and it does work every and every time. So if I go to the security option, maybe it, there is also face unlocking features, but I don't really use face unlocking. So as you can see, face and fingerprint unlock, both of them are viable. If you use face unlock, you can use, but I don't really use that because it doesn't really sucks. It doesn't work that well. Now, now come to the main show of this ROM, is that it does come with G apps, uh, and also it's come with MIUI camera. So it does come with MIUI camera, and this MIUI camera is actually better than other cameras, even in the MIUI ROM, because uh, although it's a custom ROM, but all the features of MIUI camera does work on this ROM. So first of all, if I go here, so as you can see, the main camera is on now. If I put it on uh, 0.6 and our ultra wide is on, so all the cameras does work, even the macro mode also work in this ROM. So macro also working. Even if I go to my G apps, so let's open. This one does not have auxiliary seems uh, camera support maybe this one has so as you can see here in my G apps also all the auxiliary cameras are working quite good ROM actually in that case and because MIUI camera performing very well even the 48 megapixel mode also works so let's take a photo so I click the photo and let's go and if I go here and check as you can see here it's take 48 megapixel photo 6000 by 8000 and it's about 11 MB so about the camera the camera is really good on this ROM now come to the another part of this ROM is that it does not come with Google Explorer like file explorer it come with mix explorer which is really good explorer actually so file explorer this explorer is really good it does support PDF and other things many things you can do with this P um, explorer it's better than uh, Google Explorer, I think. So it is a good thing to include with this ROM. And if you use like bank apps on the phone, if you don't install Magix, then uh, safety net should be passed. I have tried it in before installing the Magix and the CTS is passed and it's working really great. There is no issue with it. So then another thing of this ROM is that uh, animations of this ROM. So I did not turn off the animation here, as you can see. The animations are really good, not not laggy like other ROMs and every animation is like closing or going to another ROM everything works fine it's really good actually good animation with this ROM maybe you will not get like uh, in other ROMs maybe I only I got it only C Android and Refresh ROM have really good animation too and this ROM is also has really good animation and this is actually completely a stable ROM for use there is no issue Although the cons are a lot, but those are actually does not make that much sense. But in it, this ROM is actually a daily driver ROM, I think. But maybe I have to wait for the official uh, support of this ROM. Maybe they will release new ROM and maybe this box, the box which are included here, not really box, the, some features are not available. The box with notification with like uh, charging the phone, maybe those will be fixed in the feature build. And I will put the link of this ROM in the description below. You can download it from there and flash it. Completely stable ROM. If you want to use this ROM, you can try it. If you don't like, you can just uh, install another ROM. And if you like, like music, you are a music 
lower, then make, you should try this rum. It's really good. Dolby Atmos is really good on this rum. So that's it about Bootlegger's rum. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. So please, sarakabarai, 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 sarakabarai